Hello everybody, it's Peter. It's uh, Thursday evening, about 5.20, 5.30. I'm at uh, the HS2 viaduct site and that's a, a fairly new viewing point. I don't think I've been here before, but this is interesting because this, oh hello, in the distance you can see a train Shorten line train where you can hear it. Unfortunately, it's gone now. Um, but here, this this whole area where I am now is one of the biggest open uh, sites, viewing sites. And to me, it looks like a place where in the past they've used it to launch boats because of all the concrete and the, and the, uh, the sheer size of it and the gentle, gentle slope, sloping down. I have never seen a boat on this lake, um, either before or uh, during or after the advent of HS2 viaduct. <laughs> uh, so this really is a, just a quick alternative viewpoint because I'm, I'm kind of level with the back of, um, of Dominique. And as you can see, there are four antennae. Um, there is some talking going on. Uh, the cranes are quite interesting. There are four gantry cranes altogether. Two little ones uh, uh, on the outside. I call them numbers one and number four. And two big ones in the middle, which are together over that pier. Uh, so... Uh, I don't think that's particularly significant. Perhaps they're just sort of resting and they're, they're, they're winding up for the day. The, um, the uh, only uh, action at the moment is some poor chap who's obviously tired is climbing the spiral staircase. Let's get a close-up of him. And uh, difficult to keep the camera still with focusing it and he's uh, it, it's far too late to have his sandwiches he's just going up to the top to tell them what the cricket score is or something like that um, and uh, the great thing is the way these segments are moved along what I call the trackway because they, they have vehicles and if you look at the queue master uh, overhead drone footage you'll see them all lined up for about, I don't know, a mile that way, at regular, spaced out regularly, maybe 50, uh, 50 to 100 yards apart, all ready to be uh, shunted. There goes the train again. Can I, can I get it? Yes, just about, just about to see a train. That, that's a Chiltern 9 train, and it's two thirds of a mile away. Um, so, if you can hear that across the water, when uh, the HS2 trains come thundering by, um, they will be significantly louder at this point. Maybe this place is designed to be a viewing point for, for watching trains go by in, in, in the future when they, uh, when they go along this viaduct. I just don't know. Uh, so I've been thinking ahead, planning ahead, I came up on the U9, I've spared you the rattling um, of the U9 today and it was quite full, people are going home. Um, it's over there, the, the it goes along the Harville Road, it's over there behind those bushes, again about half a mile, two thirds of a mile. And um, I've noticed today, finally, I've done a bit of a recce, I've, there is pavement each side, more or less, of where the uh, Harville Road, which is the U9 route going from south to north towards Harefield from Uxbridge, where that crosses the intended route of the of HS2. So, and the sides, the um, the fences on on either side of that road at the moment aren't too high, so it will be possible when Dominique gets all oh, about three or four piers further towards London it will be possible to film it, I think, from, from that road. 
but it's it's kind of heading into a black hole now. It's becoming uh, uh, almost too div too far away to film from the Grenian Canal side, and for a, for a, certainly for a couple of months, I would think it's going to be uh, difficult to film from the Harbour Road because it's not near enough to either. I'll, I'll have to do a bit more exploring, folks, uh, wandering around the paths. I, I did find where um, the HS2 people have planted trees full of... There's another train. Chilton Line's going mad. Um, uh, have planted a whole field full of trees. Um, I think uh, there's a lot to explore there and there might well be some other viewpoints. I bet there is. Um, there's some noise going on, um, perhaps on the, on the earth moving front. There's, yes, there's, there's some vehicles moving over there, huge vehicles. I, I wonder if anyone can imagine how much earth has been moved. It's mind boggling, really. Um, uh, <laughs> This is this is all about the, the, the small and the trivial versus the sort of massive and the non-trivial. You know, you get some lovely sort of trees here. Uh, it's almost a little swamp-like little area. Um, I've never been to a swamp. <laughs> Despite what most of my viewers would like me to do. But there you go. Um, I, I, I like the greenery here. The variety. Oh, there he goes, over there on that site, which is a, I, I'm going to call it the Earth Moving site. There's a big vehicle. They always have lots of flashing lights. These vehicles, don't they? And they make lots of noise, just in case you're you're deaf or and your vision's not too good. Um, they try to avoid running you over. Um, the lake itself is fairly. Um, clear, as clear as you can expect this, this close to the shore. Um, the duck I saw earlier has disappeared. Um, so uh, I think I'll go, try and get a bit of action further down towards the canal. Thanks a lot for watching. Speed of the Rockets. It's a Thursday. It's unusual for me. Thursday. Oh, hello. Just as I, um, I, I threatened to go, there's a bit of action, and it really it's just a, uh, um, a van driving along the, the, uh, the roadway, rattling along, actually. Um, I don't know, mate, I don't know why there's not much going on. Perhaps they're building up for it. Perhaps I've missed it. Um, perhaps there will be later. But those two men at the front of the trackway have been chatting to each other now for about 15 minutes so perhaps they're just taking a breather after quite a quite a heavy week this week has got five working days in it last week had four week, working days in it because of the bank holiday uh, two or three weeks before that there was another four week a uh, four day week so you know you have to get adjusted to all that um, thanks for watching uh, like and subscribe cheers